Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy IFBB Pro Terrence Ruffin. First runner up of the Olympia this weekend. Uh, one day past the show right now. We're going to be training upper body just to get a little bit of a pump, just to keep things flowing. Um, after the show, we are in Orlando training at Iron Religion Gym. So uh, let's go ahead and get it started. All right, guys. So, uh, first exercise I'm going to do is just incline bench press. Now, uh, you don't have to do the same um, angle as everyone else. Try a couple different angles that can definitely help. The rib cage size is definitely going to depend on what, how things are working. Um, on top of that, um, you also don't need to have your elbows all the way up here. Um, somewhere in this range, anywhere in that range is good. Just fill out what feels best for you and um, go from there. Those are a couple good tips there. Um, also, I see a couple people, not, not many people do this anymore, but they, they bang the ends of the dumbbells together. You don't need to do that. You lose a lot of tension all the way in here. So you just need to come up about here, and you're good about shoulder width apart, and that's perfect. Hey, so guys, so next exercise, we're gonna do a little back one. Uh, this is specifically for lats. So the thing I see a lot of times is people don't really know how to hit their lats. They do like the wide grip rolls, they're pulling like at this angle. And if you notice, that's more so going towards my upper back. So what you wanna do actually anything, any exercise here, when you're working lats, you want that upper arm close to the body. Whether it's a pull down or a row, anything you're doing there, you want it close to the body. Um, also, when they're talking about uh, Doing your lats, you don't need to arch a whole lot. You actually want like a neutral spine. That'll help you reach what people call the lower lats. And, and then um, also, when you're, uh, this is a little test you can do. They see what the, a fully lengthened lat is. Because a lot of people end up here. This right here is not a fully lengthened lat. It actually goes past um, where your lengthened part portion is and make it shorter. So you just turn your arm up, right, and pull outwards and up. And this is about most people's fully length and lat right here. You should feel that, and anything higher, it actually does, it doesn't get any tighter. So, um, those are a couple tips there. We're gonna do about two to three sets, and uh, yeah. All right guys, so the next exercise is gonna be a cable side raise. Um, I honestly like cable side raises better than dumbbells. The reason for that is, with a dumbbell, in this range, it's not really doing much because gravity is pulling it down. It doesn't really get hard, so you're like in this range here, and it's the hardest up here, where you're the weakest. So, I like cables because it's constant tension throughout the movement. It actually follows your natural strength curve. So it's heaviest down here, and as you come up to where you're weakest, it gets a little bit lighter. So it actually allows you to work a bit harder that way. So um, honestly guys, if you're having trouble growing your, your side delts, great exercise. I know a lot of people talk about for big delts, you wanna do, you wanna do presses. Presses mostly work your front delts. If you need bigger front delts, which most people don't need, but if you need bigger front delts, then presses are a great idea. If you're really just trying to get wider, grow those side delts there, cable raises are a great option for you. Alright guys, so people always ask me, uh, heavy weight with bad form or good form with light weight? The answer is both. You want heavy weight with good form. So basically go as heavy as you can. If you can do 200 pounds like this, then do 200 pounds like this. But if you're, you're all like this at the end of the day, you're balancing and stuff, then don't do that. So you definitely want to lift as heavy as you can while doing it properly. So that's kind of the answer there. Um, for me, this is the weight I use. 
for this, ex this exercise, I do try to get a little bit stronger each and every week. So eventually I'll get up to like 50 pounds, 100 pounds, or whatever. And um, yeah, yeah, that's kind of how you want how you want to do that exercise. About the same, a little longer, a little longer. But yeah, honestly, or just a longer rope. Like if you find like the these are like white longer ones you can get. Those are good too. So why did you switch it now? Cause this one's a bit longer. So you get a little bit uh, you can get in a better like position body wise. If I can figure out how to do this machine here. There we go. All right guys, so next exercise is gonna be rope pull downs. I think cables are a great idea here too, just because um, a lot of dumbbell stuff causes people elbow issues. And if you start to get elbow issues, that's gonna be the, th the biggest thing that holds you back from bigger triceps. You need to be able to push yourself and feel good while you're doing it. The more things hurt, the less weight you're gonna be able to use, the, the less you're gonna be able to push yourself to the actual failure. So um, the better things align with your body, the better that's, that's gonna be. Personally, I like uh, some called like functional trainers. So you take like one cable here, one cable here, bring it out and do it like this. And if you do, I promise you, if you do that, it's gonna feel great for your elbows. Um, this gym doesn't have that, so rope is also a good option here. But um, if you're having any issue, elbow issues with doing like skull crushers, things like that, I suggest you stop if it hurts um, and switch to something else that feels a lot better if you push yourself. So that's why we're doing this. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. guys real quick um, another quick tip would be um, a lot of people ask like exercise selection what should you do for a tricep exercise or a workout um, I believe you should have like one pressing movement whether it's a, uh, a tricep dip or a close grip bench it doesn't really matter whichever one you like better whichever one feels better for you um, another exercise would be some type of push down um, here or cable or rope I mean uh, those are that would be the next exercise and then I like to finish with something overhead where you get a really good stretch and that's also really really good to finish off with um, so those are three exercises I would like to do um, if you're ever having any joint pain um, a couple th couple things you're gonna have to do is one um, if you're early on and you're starting to feel joint pain switch to exercise um, there's this is the easiest way I can tell people to do a switch to exercise because it's most it's either one or two things your form is off or the exercise doesn't fit your body I don't know who you are, so it's just best to just switch to exercise. Um, and there's a couple things, so um, if you're having issues, a good way to kind of uh, find an exercise that will help if you still want to train it and want to get a good pump or something like that. Cable stuff is good. When you do it, you want to make sure whatever you're using, the rope lines up with your joint here. That way, it's supposed to line up there. That way, it should feel really, really good. You may need to bend over more or something like that, but make sure everything's lined up properly. And um, that's gonna be the best thing for your joints when you're uh, throughout any time, of the, any time, in any, any place. So those are a couple of tricep tips for you and I hope you like it. All right guys, so next exercise is a bicep exercise. Now, I know most people don't have this machine and that's totally fine. Um, the key point here is to, uh, if you're really trying to help your biceps to grow, to find an exercise where you can push against a pad. So dumbbell preacher curls are a great option. Single arm, um, anything where you can push against something and really isolate that, is gonna be a great thing. So you, you're taking your shoulders out of it, you're taking anything else that people do. So sometimes people are like use their calves to get a weight up or cheat curl. That's not what you wanna do. You don't wanna use other body parts to get the weight up. Remember your bodybuilding, so you want that muscle to work. So uh, definitely when you think about this, push everything against the pad, keep everything tight, and squeeze all the way to the top, all the way as far as you can get it down, while also pressing into the pad. You don't want to curl and have that shoulder come up. A lot of people will do it like this. You don't need to do that, just the bicep working here. So that's the tip for the uh, bicep curls today. Hope you guys liked it.
All right, guys, so that completes our upper body workout today. Now, I hope you guys learned a lot, and if you got any questions, you know, please feel free to hit us up and ask. And if, for more content, please check out Nevia. Peace.